Here's another one you'll love. Uh, were you ever offered any promotional opportunities for Monistat? Because you did reference it a few times on <laughs> Smoky Mountain TV. So uh, where, what happened with the Monistat deal? Uh, no, there was no Monistat deal. But hold on. Actually, I have an anecdote to share with you. Okay, okay go ahead. About <laughs> um, okay. Like a, a lot of things that I did in Smoky Mountain, I would occasionally um, uh, bring back through the years. You know, in different places I worked, like the thing about smacking the puppy's head against the wall. Jesus, you know, it'd be yeah. years and years between them. But I figured if Ric Flair can be styling and profiling every week and jet flying and Space Mountain, you know, once every six, five, five or six years, I can use something that nobody ever saw before. You know, I'd use it again. Or uh, bobbing for apples in a colostomy bag, whatever. You know, I can, right. I can bring that into a new environment. But, um, so, as, but Frank Zappa used to call conceptual continuity. Um, here's, uh, I'm, when I was in ECW, uh, Tony Mamaluke um, was there. And Tony Mamaluke, hell of a wrestler and a very dear friend of mine, good guy. Um, but long story short, a rat that had been picked out by the other rats, right? To be anointed by the sinister minister be broken in by the sinister minister jesus um it was like it, all the plans were made there was going to be video everything so we could laugh at it you know whatever um i didn't get flown to tv that next week so the week after that i show up and it turns out Mom, tony mamaluke banged the rat and that's fine but tony mamaluke because in my perception i was higher on the card than he was and i was but, you know, and plus I got him, helped him get him his job. He, he, we were out in public and he was, ha, 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 I banged the devil's rat, right? So I, it just popped into my head. Oh, you, you banged her? Well, uh, you know, she has a yeast infection. He goes, what? And I said, <laughs> you know, she a yeast infection. Well, what's that? I said, you don't know what that is? I said, bro, if you, man. Your, your gimmick's going to look like a stalk of cauliflower, man. You've got to go see a doctor. And, and so I'm ribbing him through lunch while I'm around a bunch of the boys. And we get off in private. And he goes, devil, how, how much trouble am I in? I said, man, you've got to go to the CVS right now or Eckerd's, whatever, the drugstore, Walgreens, and, and get some monostat. <laughs> now, I'm popping myself off of the old Daryl Van Horn shit, right? It, 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 it uh <laughs> The, it's ugly head reemerges, right? And I take, I go to, I take him to Walgreens or wherever, and he's like, he's like a husband who doesn't want to buy tampons for his wife, right? And I'm, and this is part of my revenge rib on him because he's told everybody he banged what was supposed to be my sacrificial rat, and I said, nope, here's the money, you have to buy it. And he's, he's a really sweet guy and very shy, and, and, and. So at first I thought the rib was going to end with him buying the monostat, right? But <laughs> once we got in the car, he goes, devil, how do I deal with this? And I said, well, yeah. And, and this stuff comes like in little suppositories, I guess. And I said, <laughs> well, you need to just break it open and you need to rub it all over your gimmick, right? He goes, really? I said, yeah, just rub it all over your gimmick. And by the time we got back to Canyon's house, which is where I was at the time, then it, it hit me. Wait a minute. Canyon has a video camera. I can take a video camera and film this. And as he was getting ready to uh, rub his man hood, pop open a, a monostat thing and rub it all over his, his, uh, his male appendage, I said, you know what? I forgot. I saw that. I read this thing. I read this thing in a magazine, in a medical journal. I forgot. No, it's a suppository. You have to stick it up your ass. And he goes, what? And I go, no. It's a, you see it? Is that a suppository? Yeah, devil, you're right. And I go, you need to stick it up your ass. But Jesus. it's monostat seven. It's monostat seven. You have to stick it up your ass for seven days. So the rib was, and, and then as he did it, I actually filmed him sticking monostat in his ass 
The idea was that at a pay-per-view party that was to come a few days later, in, uh, a week later or whatever, that, you know, we were going to debut this in front of, you know, 20 wrestlers, and that would be my big revenge rib. But the funny thing was about, so it's seven days you're supposed to stick this up your ass, or you're not, you know, you're not supposed to stick it up your ass, but I told him to. Um, about four days in, he goes, devil, have you got any more gimmicks? I said, what do you mean? Have you got any more gimmicks? And, you know, in wrestling, a lot of times, gimmicks, like, you can call anything gimmicks in wrestling. Right. You just have to know the context of who you're talking to. A gimmick can be, you can have a conversation, say gimmick, 40 times, and the other guy knows what you're talking about, and it's 40 different things. But anyway. Yeah, it just depends on the context said, of the conversation, yeah. Yeah. I go, I'm not a fucking drug guy. I don't have any fucking pills. What are you talking about? He goes, no, the monostat. And I go, what do you mean? I go, you got another three days to go. And he goes, no, I'm out. <laughs> and I went, God damn, Mama Luke, Mama Luke, did it get good to you? I mean, are, are you a, are, are you now a junkie from Honestat? So that was uh, <laughs> he he was so he was so scared over what I did that, that he OD'd on the Monostat. Jeez. <laughs> and we we did eventually air the uh, video at a pay per view party within a week or two. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, so, yes, I, di- I did not get a Monistat uh, sponsorship. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what else? Four silly questions. 